going on everyone? Road to Torn here, back with another Bionicle Retro Review. And if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Bionicle Review. And today, we are looking at the Chronicler himself. Takua and Puku. I forgot the name that fast. But anyway, let's look at the set number. The set number is 8595. That is kind of funny to say. So 8595. Anyway, piece count is 221. Retail price was $20. So back in the day, pretty cheap set to get. This was a typical set that you see nowadays. That'd be about that same price. That is like kind of like whatever. But this was the big Titan set back then. But I'm getting out of myself. Brief lore. Takua was an adventurous Av Matoran. If you don't know what an Av Matoran is, then that's a whole video in itself to discuss. But anyway, he was disguised as a Tamatoran who was in Metanui, moved to Matanui, and he eventually became the Chronicler that we all know and love that chronicles the entire event of 2001 to the events of Mask of Light. So that was. Yeah. So he did that just before donning the mask yeah he was a crocker all until the point he donned the mask of you know the great evoki and became the first and only toa of light in the entire matoran universe which is kind of crazy he's the only toa of light to ever exist kind of wild to think about and puku the usula crab that you will see in the mask of light movie or the Banco online game or Monog, you know. So it was Lusa Cloud that was a taxi service in the Po Rahi and Onu Rahi region. So that was her job. She was, you know, taxi service. You know what she does. But during her travels, um on just on her job, she found Takua and instantly took a liking to him. So that's kinda how they met it. Just one random day basically. So yeah. Okay. That aside. Now let us look at the pros the pros with little takua is the same as always with the other matorans you want the full detail on that you can check out the previous video i did with um Jogger and the other matoran but a quick summarization of that is uh well takua good color scheme you know leg feet arms hands and comes with the staff you know all this good articulation and the gear in the back you know typical stuff and so the good pros cons no neck the creepy face that they like they really use for the torns i don't know why they keep using that face i really wish they'll stop but you know hopefully this i think this is the last time we see that face thank god but uh color scheme is really good however his legs were not supposed to be blue they're supposed to be yellow as you've seen him in the movie or in the Minog game or anywhere else he's supposed to have yellow legs but for some reason they said they gave him blue but that's kind of weird but in another con he's you know despite saying he has a good build he has a kind of a weird looking build it's very odd very weird looking and you know it, the gear function is kind of awkward as well so yeah that's it with the cool so nothing new on that so now let's look at the actual main thing that you actually come here for is puku the usula crab i think i hope i'm saying that right so anyway so pros a really good design i actually really like the design of this thing i don't th like you know it's a lot better than the than the the goko bird i'm trying to remember the name of it so i think it's a much more solid design so uh i really do like it and a return of the bar call pieces already wow reused already and a reuse of the mata arms right here recolored of that so that's really good and the color scheme is really good it's a nice contrast from the kua's um you know red and blue kind of reminds me of spider-man but anyway it's a nice contrast with the more muted colors with the burnt orange and brown and the gray and slight silver in the color scheme is very solid very consistent which i like oh yeah and the black at the bottom so yeah there's that um another pro is it's amazing function where basically these gears at the bottom as you can see will make it crawl back 
and forth and it is already messed up that is a con gosh darn it i'm trying to talk about pros but here i am talking about the cons already but so yeah it can roll back and forth it is really nice and solid and what the heck so i really do like that that is a it's a very satisfying feel and look to that so great function provide that you can get it to work so that is really good on that um that's kind of about it oh and i guess the other pro is that you can actually with these four open pins you can put two maturin on it so you can kind of replay the events of the mask light movie because you can have takula and jowler on the or any maturin for that matter on uh puku here but that's really about it for the pros not there's not a lot of pros but they're they're good they're good it's it's not the harm it's not say that it's not those it's not a bad set i'm trying to say so it's still good it's just there's not a lot of pros but now let's get into the cons and the cons are it is uh kind of gappy so you can see it is very gappy all throughout this thing this thing is gappy galore i mean goodness look at this it is extremely <laughs> gappy oh my goodness this thing is gappy it is ridiculous and as i sh as i just demonstrated with that gear function that is a whew, that is a con right there because if you are playing with this thing and you're rolling around the the gear on the side right here right here with this uh little axle it will pop out almost if not every time that you even you know do the function so it's very much going to pop out and you have to put it back in every time and it's very annoying very frustrating after the, the small time of me having this set which i not have this set for very long but it is already annoying and it's very much getting on my nerves already so yeah that's not very good um another con will kind of be its weird eyes the eyes are definitely weird not like it doesn't look like how it's supposed to in you know in the uh source material but i don't know the eyes just look kind of weird because it's just i don't know i don't know maybe because it's a very the very strange look though i mean i like the build but it's still kind of odd and this kind of borderline nitpicky is the rakshi piece because i know this supposed to be kind of the face of it but it just flips flops it doesn't really do anything it doesn't add anything it's just it's, it's just there so i don't really get the purpose of this granted that's a nitpick but i don't like it so i will count that as just me being nitpicky instead of a con it's just nitpicky but whatever how you see that and all of these tubes these tubes are just I feel like that was just their kind of way to make it look bigger than what it actually is, even though the tubes don't really add much to it. I mean, they're nice, but they don't really add much. Again, me being the picky, but yeah, that's yeah, it's kind of like just it's kind of just there. So um, but yeah, not much else to say about this thing. I mean, it's a good set. I like it a lot. I like it more than. The Goku Burr, as I, as I already mentioned, so the score I'll give it is a six point nine. So it's 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 still pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, do I recommend it? Um, yeah, sure, I recommend it. I mean, hey, uh, it's a way to get that. It's actually the only set to actually have Takua in an official set. And yes, you can make him from the McTorns or the and get the pieces, but this is the set to actually have a Takua in it without having you make it on your own with like spare parts or go on brickling or something to get it you can just have it and bam there you go takua and the the puku is a nice addition you know she's actually a prominent character at least from the monog game and the mask of light i mean you see her enough times so that's that's pretty nice and uh yeah so that's kind of been my thoughts on that so there's not else to say on this set other than i don't know go out and get it i mean it's a good set but um so yeah those are my thoughts tell me what you think down in the comments i'll read them and join me next time when i look at the master 
of shadows, the dark one, the, the, the villain, the main reason why all this stuff is happening to Matt Nui. Anyway, yes, the Dark Lord, Makuta. I have been Rogue the Matoran, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. The Bionicle Legend is back. The evil Makuta has unleashed the Rakshi onto Matanubi. Are they hunting the precious Mask of Light? Can the mighty Joa Nuba stop them? Tsunami's giving you the chance to be a part of the Bionicle Legend. We're giving away so much Bionicle stuff, your head's gonna spin. One grand prize winner gets the jackpot. The only solid platinum Kenohi Mask of Light in existence. A $7,000 value. But that's not all. The grand prize winner also scores a 36-inch color TV, a DVD player, and a giant pile of other Bionicle goodies. Look at that. 500 second prize winners score one of six new Rakshi Bionicle action figures. Want to get in on this? Watch Konami all this week from 5 to 7 for the toll free night. And see if you've got what it takes to live the legend. Bionicle from Lego.